because from our, from our exercise, we found out that this is, in most cases, when the problem starts in a lot of the misquoted chapters that we have formed. There must be people who are fair and who adhere strictly to democratic tenets. And sanctions should be meted out to those who you find that will come to create crisis in state by their action. Also, we need to mention that time did not allow us to do much on the area of strategy. We had much to do so in the area of consultation. It is therefore our recommendation is to tell you that the party leadership should explore the idea of looking at the issue of strategy and even consider it as a standing committee to prepare for 2023. Let me commend the efforts of the NWC on some of the steps we have taken to position our party, particularly as they are in line with the recommendations you will see in this report. One of such examples is the revival of the Formed People's Democratic Institute to serve as a policy thinking group at the center of the party. You see that you're already taking steps in this line. I must commend you for that issue. My colleagues and I are grateful for the opportunity to be of service to our great party. Thank you for the opportunity and confidence given to us to carry out this exercise. Thank you for the long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you.
come with the former commission of the People's Democratic Institute, which is located in Asokoro. We are putting finishing touches uh, to the building we have uh, secured, and we hope that that institute will help us in the next electoral campaign. We also appreciate some of the recommendations which we made verbally. Uh, they have helped us to solve <coughs> problems in those states, but there is still a lot to be done. We will go through this report meticulously and very soon submit it to NEC since it's a NEC committee. And we believe that NEC will implement, uh, we have not only approved the report, but will also help us to implement uh, some of the recommendations which uh, you have are contained in this report. It will help us a great deal in moving, strengthening the party, uniting the party, because the strength of the party actually is in state chapters. And if state chapters are weak or disunited, it is very difficult for us to move the party forward. We want to thank all of you because the implementation which we do, I believe it will still involve some of you. And then secondly, who knows, maybe one of you, two of you are presidential aspirants, you may win and then the child will further responsibility of implementing what you are recommending. So I want to thank you and uh, ask you to continue to support us, support the party, so that we we'll try and rescue this country, which has been run aground by a royalist. Travel by road, you can't travel by rail, you can't travel by air. Even in your house, you are not safe. That is the next level that APC has taken us. And we are determined that with the support of people like you, we should bring Nigeria back to the level where it should be. The level of peace, the level of development, the level of unity. Because this country has never been divided as it is today. This country has never seen a situation where a whole army of bandits, 300, 500, are raiding communities, taking over states, and the central government is being virtually nothing about. So we have a Herculean task ahead of us. But I want to assure you that we, together we will definitely overcome the current challenges. Nigerians will not lose hope in their country. We are determined to come back restore the hope to Nigerians and make life more bearable for everybody. So it is only the people like you that we can do this. Thank you and God bless you all.